Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to the Dungeon of the Endless, which is actually uh, super special to me in a lot of ways, so might as well start. So, when I say special to me, I mean this is actually the game that is, I would say, solely responsible for me as a YouTuber being as large as I am. Oh, hey, uh, ooh. That's cool. I have to unlock them as I go. Now, can I get this guy yet? No, I think I need to buy him. Oh, well, either way, uh, how many, I only get two characters. So, I'll explain as I go. I'm going to be on easy difficulty. I assume we get better ones later. So, Gork isn't bad. Max isn't bad. The problem is we want, like, tough-ish characters. I honestly don't even remember what half of these people do. But let's go with Gork and uh, her, I think. Just because Sarah Numis kind of reminds me of Samus in a lot of ways. And, I don't know, Gork. Eh, why not Gork? Alright, so, as I was saying. Oh, there were multiple ship types that I could choose from, too. That's cool. So, um... I, I think it was a year ago, actually. Almost exactly. Wow. I might actually be... No, it was, like, back in November. Either way, I uh, did a review of this game and skyrocketed from, like, 50, 60 subs to, like, 100 and something? I don't know. It was a significant boost back in the day. And for me, that that was exactly the boost I needed to, like, keep me going because I was actually starting to lose interest in YouTubing at the time because I was just like, oh, this is so much work. It still is, but at the very least, I actually have an audience now that, you know, appreciates me and is nice. All right. Might be a little loud. Let's crank that down a little bit. Can I? Yeah, I can. Master volume. Let's drop it down to like 50? I don't know if that's adjusting it live. Uh, yeah, it is. All right, let's try like 30, uh, 25%. That'll be good. Because I want to be heard. So, I will admit, uh, as far as like me doing that review, that was the earliest alpha of this game. So, as far as, like, things go, I actually barely know anything about this game anymore. So, uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to go through the tutorial. So, there's the crystal. Right-click on the door to open it. All right. Works for me. Now, this game is kind of turn-based, not turn-based, which is fascinating. You get in there. So, when I say turn-based, it's turn-based in and of the fact that each round is, like, a separate turn. And different actions happen as a result. And so what you do is, like, you go into a room, open it up, and I don't think I can do anything in this room. Uh, yeah, I know what those are. Opening a door is a new turn. I'm waiting for my action. All right. So I'm going to want both of them to go through. Oh, looks like I can, I can select them as a group now, too. That's cool. So each, one's, each uh, one of these rooms has, like, nodes in it that I can activate somehow. And put resources in, build up defenses and stuff. It's really cool. So, uh, dust. I, I'm, tr I'm trying to, like, go through the tutorial. Oh, click on the mouse button to power the room. There we go. Middle mouse. I knew I was forgetting something. All right. So, uh, powered rooms also uh, prevent enemies from spawning inside. That's good to know. <laughs> it could have been really bad otherwise. All right, so I can build modules... Uh, is, how do I, oh, right, modules are down to the left, so we can do science, industry, or food. Food is for, like, healing your guys, I believe, I think it says here. So, uh, food is used to heal, recruit, and level up heroes. Science is used for, uh, improving my modules and resetting the skills of my heroes, and industry is used to build major minor modules. So, we're probably going to want to start with an industry generator, and... A, let's see, what else can I build? I can make a prisoner pod. Don't know what that does. Oh, low, low damage to enemies in the room. So I'm actually going to drop one of those right there. And I don't think I have any more industry. Nope, I can build a couple. So I might as well build a little bit of defense along the way. Because I can, I can only really build uh, generators and pods and stuff. I can select both of these guys, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. And once these guys get up, they should be able to get up a level fairly quickly. Uh, let's see. So here's hero management. They have active skills. Oh. 
Okay. Is there a way to, like, use these? Huh. So they, they have active skills that I can use. Oh, I see. By looking at these, they show up. Oh, I see. If I select them, it will show me what the active skill is. So he has Psycho Killer, which is Berserker Rage. It cooldowns and it resets its cooldown in two turns and has a seven second duration and just more or less boosts its attack power and movement speed, where she can just run away really fast. Okay. Now, I will admit, since I've only played the early alpha of this game, I don't exactly know meta strategies, so it's very, very likely that we're just going to get our asses kicked here. And I'm okay with that. So, uh, know about that. Spacebar to pause. Know about that. Reach the surface. Oh, I didn't realize we are underground and we are trying to go up. I thought we were trying to go down. Huh. Either way. Yeah, learn the game by dying. Thanks, roguelikes. Either way. Uh, so yeah, I, I picked up this game while I was at work and I was like, oh man, you know, I'll do a review on this. It'll be awesome. Prison uniform added to inventory. All right, which means I'm going to throw it on her just because she is... Can, can I... There we go. Double click. Good to know. Uh, I picked it up because like, oh man, it looks super pretty and it's made by the people that made um, Endless Space. It's got to be cool, right? And turns out it was. I, it, uh oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it turns out it was actually quite cool. And, I don't know, just really high production quality, but uh, especially for like an alpha game, it worked well. I don't think I ever even crashed, which is great. All right, so this room can't be, oh, it can be powered, but there's not really a whole lot of reason for it. Let's just get in here and see what I got. Some more dust? And the problem is sometimes monsters will spawn on these rooms, I think. And I have to be a little bit wary of them. I wonder if this one came automatically powered. But, oh, looks like we got some buddies. Now she's really fast, which is great. But it does definitely mean she's going to be the frontliner. Hence why I put the prisoner clothes on her. Because uh, she's going to be the one taking the damage. Oh, shoot. we still got more, more monsters coming in. Tally-ho. Now, can I level them up with... Oh, right, I can level them up with food. So, it's not leveling based on an experience standpoint. It's actually leveled up based on a me putting food into them. Well, let's do that. And then, I think what I'm going to do is just build another... Can I build a food replicator? I could. I'm actually going to build another industry replicator. We need a lot of industry anyway. Uh, if we're going to be building structures, especially because resources carry over between floors. And so once we get into the later stuff, we're going to need a lot. Uh, I don't remember what this has in it. I don't even know what those things are. Well, either way, looks like we got some monsters coming from this direction. I might power it, but it doesn't seem that useful to me. I'll probably just put a bunch of... Uh, can't even put a bunch of defenses in there. Eh, I'll just leave them empty and just keep decking this one out until I find a reason to do anything else. Because this one I can put, like, modules into if I want. Does this even do anything? Actually, ugh. either way. So what we're looking for is, like, essentially the exit. And get there. Hello. Free industry. Sweet. And it doesn't look like any monsters are spawning either. Eh, makes my life easier. Oh, it looks like we've got a lot more monsters coming in, so I'm gonna... Uh, I'll book it. She's taking some damage, too. That, that is a concern. I'll see if I, there's a way of healing her. Like, a, I think there's a module that heals units. Either way, though... Overall, we're doing pretty, pretty good, and we've got some base defenses here, just in case. As long as I don't lose anybody, I'm not terribly concerned about what goes on. Okay, no... I was going to say, there's no, um, there's no industry over there. There's really no reason to power this direction. And there's no way to close the doors, unfortunately, too. I'm going to waste a little bit of industry just building a couple of prisoner pods. And then let's power this back up. Let's drop a food replicator in here. Because I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of science. But we're, oh, shoot, food, re food replicators don't give you much. That's a shame. Oh, well. Either way, I'm going to be able to level him up in the next room. And that'll be fine. Looks like I'll probably want to uh, power this room next. Hello. 
Oh, this guy's a this guy's a shopkeeper. Now I believe he takes dust. How do I? There we go. Right click on him. No, he takes science. And okay, that's nice. I think he used to take dust, and that actually made it kind of problematic. So we could get some fancy spancy armor. Oh, hello. So I think dehydrated water actually like boosts permanently boosts their HP. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see. What else can I buy? I've got 32 power, so I'm I'm probably just going to buy the restrainer and the rapier for now. Because we need armor, and really I just want to deck her out. Uh, I want to deck her halls. Wow, that... that mm. Either way, this is going to make her a lot tougher, because Gork, much slower, meaning he takes far less damage. And... So we need to keep her as topped off as possible, otherwise we're going to get our asses handed to us. Handed to us, or more per se, she's going to get her ass handed to her, and then we're going to be down to one, and that would suck. Hey, we found the exit. Now, even though this is the exit, I think I'm I'm just going to keep exploring just for a little bit longer, just because I might as well get some resources along the way too. And it looks like we got a lot of buddies along the way. Let's book them back here. Oh, geez, that's a lot of friends. Let's bring him back to the room where we actually have defenses. Here's the other problem. Uh, if you notice, she's already pretty injured, so... I'm actually going to level her up. Oh, jeez. You? Friggin' run. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Whew. Concerning. Now, at this point, the way we run... Do I want to run? I mean, I probably want to run. Especially because we get more waves as a result. I'm not going to get enough science. So what we... I think what we do is go back. Okay. So I'm just going to max out prisoner pods on this room. Power this one. And I'm just going to pop down a couple. I know I should save my industry, but at the same time... This is my first time through, and I'd prefer an easier job. Alright. That's probably enough flagrant waste, but still. Because I don't need to let these guys handle everything themselves. Now, what I'll probably do is actually just leave Gork there with that. And she can run back and grab the crystal. Because she's way faster. Fortunately, it's going to... It's going to take a little bit before... Um before she can use Runaway, but that's okay. Yeah, Gork is an absolute tank, and he's in a room full of defenses, so we're going to be fine. Do have to worry about them, but that's okay. We're probably going to make it to the, this room. Here we go. Exit! Well, that was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. Note to self. Don't, uh... Oh, hey, Butcher. Nice nickname. Do they talk to each other? Ah, oh, they do. Not my name. Way of life. <laughs> Cute. Your last name wouldn't be Corroser, would it? Stop talking, noisy, n nose, noisy person. Monsters to kill. Let's go. That's interesting. So there's a uh, there's elevator scenes between floors now. That's cool. Uh, Mass Effect style. Man, I wish I had been playing this game during development, but uh, no. Yeah. Okay. So we get industry, a little bit of science. It's no big deal. <sighs> Long stage time, but still. Next floor. And I think there are ten floors, so we're probably gonna die somewhere along the way. But you know. This is this is way, way better than I expected it would be. I mean, e even when I originally played it, I was expecting it to be quite good. Hey, there we go. We get a third character. Uh, met Nurse Dina Ratchet. Well, let's power this and talk to her. So, we need a lot of food. That's a problem. So, wait, we're going to need to build... Uh, couple of food replicators. Oh, well. So, I, I'm going to start with the industry. Just because we're going to need that most. And then... Okay, good. Then I can build a food replicator. Because we want... Hello. Treasure chest. That means item. I got happy pills. Which do what? Oh, wit and attack power. Let's just toss that on him. Considering he doesn't have anything better. Have your happy pills, butcher. Uh. It seems... Odd to say it that way. <clears throat> now, 
improve the capacity of your crystal and buy merchant items. Except for science was used to buy merchant items, and I don't even know anymore. Either way, let's build us that food repl replicator, because we need that uh, ASAP. Because it's pretty much going to take us this entire dungeon uh, floor just to recruit her. And we want to get that done as fast as possible. I do kind of wish you'd get better resources for, uh, I don't know, clearing rooms. Right, might as well light this up, one up. I don't want to be fighting too many enemies, because I honestly don't think that there's a whole lot of benefit for doing so. Oh, did this room come automatically? I, I can... Hmm. I guess the room came automatically lit for whatever reason. Can't complain about that too much. And we get another one of these. Yeah. Ideally... I'd like to keep all of my traveling linear, just so when all the monsters show up, they all show up in one direction. Oh, looks like we got some coming back here. Should be fine. The one problem is I really don't want uh, What's-Her-Face to get attacked too much. Let's actually build a prisoner pod. Okay. Oh, right. Those guys just beeline for, um, for the crystal and start attacking it. I completely forgot about that. Well, that makes my life easier. Because she still helps me fight, so as long as I keep her well defended, we're pretty much golden. Might as well just drop a couple of those. Actually, I think we only need one more room before we can recruit her properly. Which I like. A lot. And let's wait for slow, slow ski McGee ski. I, I like the fact that movement speed is actually like a huge uh, part of the game in this one. It's It's nice. And we get a lot more dust, which means I can actually light a couple of rooms. Looks like it's only monsters from this end, though. Which is also nice. Alright, let's just light this one up. And now, now I've got enough uh, food that I can get her. I'd love to be able to level up some uh, my guys some more. I don't actually know if there's a max level anymore. I don't think there is. That's cool. Oh. Oh, there's actually, like, a, a story. Between the characters, like, yeah, you could kind of see that on the elevator, but it actually has, like, an impact here. So, Sarah is involved in the story Clash of Heroes with Gork. That's cool. Well, either way... Oh, did she get cheaper? I don't know if she got cheaper, but either way, she's level 3. Or 2. And, mainly, we just have another person. And she can actually heal somebody. Yeah, health regen, heroes in room, heroes in floor. 10 second. ooh. That's real nice. Because uh, Sarah herself gets kind of smacked around. It's not appreciated. So having, like, an actual medic that heals people floor-wide is amazing. That is really amazing. Oh, hey, we found the exit. Now, at this point, considering things are fairly easy, I'd actually like to clear out the entire floor just to see what resources I, I can get. I didn't do that on the previous room and kind of regret... Oh, hello. Oh, this is like a research crystal-y type thing. So in that case, we're going to want to build a science creator. Right here. And see what I can get. Probably should have done that earlier. Oh, well, a little bit late for uh, regrets. But we've got a fair amount to explore, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, this big crystal here th uh, thing lets me research stuff. Wait, am I done with the floor? No, I'm not. Oh, boy. So... Is there, like, a map option? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Because it looks like there's only one other doorway. It's right next to the crystal, which is, of course, inherently concerning. Uh, that said, I'm going to have to go with it, just because I want to potentially be able to research something. I don't know. And... And or just gather as many resources as possible. Just means I'm going to have to defend from this direction. Uh, well... Oh, shit. That's that's the guy that just starts wailing on my crystal. I think we lose dust as a result, which is a problem. Alright. Well, let's power this room so nobody spawns in it. And then... Buy a couple of prisoner pods. Because we need it. That should be good. But since nobody's going to be spawning in there, that means I can largely just focus on taking them out. Let's power this one. Oh, shoot, we got monsters coming the other direction. I forgot that I forgot there are a number of rooms. Oh, but since I haven't unlocked this door, they have to take the long way around. That's perfect for me. Oh, they're going after my science thing. No, my science thing. 
Oh, they busted my science thing. I forgot they would do that. Either way. That's medkit people and run her back at the very least. I think we're going to need her for defending the crystal. It's perfect. And we haven't lost any dust yet. All right. And apparently I've unlocked a new picture in my album. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but uh, either way, people are topped off and golden. And I can power another room if I really wanted to. Well, in that case, I have powered that room, so I might as well power this one. Because I think you get a little bit of dust from killing monsters, but that's about it. And I might as well uh, rem remove the need to worry about uh, that side as much as possible. Wow, this is far more extensive than I was expecting. And a bunch of monsters. No big deal, though. I lost my science thing. Makes me sad. Oh, shoot. She is... She's getting smacked. Uh, you run. Cause she's not she's not uh, armored yet. I'm, I haven't gotten a whole lot of armor here. Oh well, I, th I think we'll be fine. But uh, note to self: next time, don't put the uh, crystal thing in as dangerous of a position. And we get a uh, bunch of monsters. Well, at least none of the monsters are spawning on th this side of things. But uh, let's get down here before bad things happen. I have to remember, uh, she does not have her med kit yet, though. Actually, I should bring the entire party back here. Just for a little bit. You! Get over here! Alright. Because this is, like, the best holdout room, and she, does, she doesn't She does have her med kit yet, so we do have to pretty much hold out here. Hopefully nobody dies. Or gets too injured. You need to fall back. Really, Gork is our tank. The problem is Gork is our, our like, range-type hero. Which means he's inherently kind of bad at tanking. Oh, well. Let's murder these guys. Now, how are we going to do this? Nobody's going to... Oh, somebody might spawn from this room. Actually, you know what I can do? Aha! That makes it easy. That's all the research, uh, resources we can get. So let's drop Gork and the Medic right here. I think. Uh... Yeah, we want to drop him right there. Let's do the research, because she is the best gopher, just because she's fast. So I can research some things before we go. So this might be worth it. So Prisoner Pod 2 uh, does more damage. Uh, Bio-organic transference. Uh, each kill heals up to 100 HP based on killed monster power distributed to he uh, heroes in the room. Hmm, interesting way of healing. There's also a um, Mechanical Pal 1 that adds one wit on a major module. Weird. And then we can go with Food Replicator. I'm going to go with the Food Replicator for now. That's like all of my science. Uh, note to self, get some science. Get some science fast. I also just GTFO. But I think all of the monsters are going to be spawning from... Over here. Oh, nope, they're spawning from uh, where the monster room is. Or the exit is. Well, at this at this point, we're pretty much golden. Nobody's going to be touching us. Oh. There's one extra room that I completely neglected. Either way, she's got her med kit. Let's pop it now. Because I don't think we have much to worry about. Might as well just take out these monsters until it becomes a problem. I think we're fine. I, but I don't think I get a reward for this, so let's leave. Yay! And we get more pictures for our album. Cool. I know I've seen you. You're on Kaiutel. Kai... Kaiutel. Eh. Weren't you? <laughs> uh, Kaiutel. Good fun. Lots of yelling. Chainsaws. Mmm. Yeah, I see. Kaiutel. And he goes back to sleep. And the nurse is just like, I have nothing to do with either of these people. Why am I even here? So we've got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen floors. Eh, makes sense. Just to get to the top. I love the visuals on this game, though. Like, for a pixel art game, it is extremely well done. Makes me very happy to sheerly just look at, much less play. Alright. Also like the loading screen transitions. They're nice. Simple. But nice. I could actually do that fairly easily. Okay, and it looks like uh, oh, we do actually have multiple doors we can go through. I hate it when that happens. 
Hopefully they loop back on each other. Hopefully uh, there's actually an industry generator in here. Good. Because we need... We need industry. And then we need science. Pretty badly. And that should... That should help substantially. What I'm hoping is I can get uh, the levels to kind of loop around on each other. So that, um... That I don't have to worry about defending multiple fronts. Because that's when bad things start happening. Because these guys aren't fully equipped yet. And... Well, we need... We need some equipment bad. I'm actually going to build another... Science generator, I think. Oh, the price goes up with every floor you go down. That's scary. And then I'm probably going to build another industry generator. I, I don't know what the meta strat... Oh, what's up with this room? It's got, like, weird glowy bits. That's about it, though. And it doesn't look like anything else happens. I might as well light it up just so we don't have monsters coming out that way. But, yeah. Uh, I can't build an industry generator yet. I'll build another one of those. And I should be... I should be fine. More of these rooms. Oh, hey, it's an artifact room. Which, I believe, are purely for research. Oh, we're definitely want to get... Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough science for that. Tesla module? Hmm, that's not bad. It's essentially a uh, upgraded version of the, uh, the... Whatever one that we already have. The prisoner pod. There we go. And this looks like a sassy robot in the corner. Kind of judging me, actually. Well, I uh, can't, can't stand j people judging me. Can I light this room up? Nope. So we might actually have monsters coming from from that direction. I'll light it up when I get enough dust, probably. Because as long as I only have to defend from one angle, then we're all good. Then we don't have to worry about much. Is that enough dust? I have no idea. Either way. Uh, well, they're, they're screwing around. Can I light... Oh, shoot. They're messing with my... They're messing with my science machine. Stop messing with my... Oh, jeez. That guy is... Wrecking my business. Oh, that was close. And still not enough juice. Well, in that case, I'm going to depower that one and power this one. Because I just didn't have enough forewarning there. And any of these? I, I could do a science module on that one. Or an industry module. But I think when I have enough dust, I'll just power this one. And that way I won't have to worry about defending too much. Oh, or this one? This one looks like it's automatically powered, isn't it? Yeah. I like automatically powered rooms. Makes my life easier. And this way we get a fair amount of industry. So let's... What is this? A cryo capsule? Huh. No refunds. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. We get 18 food. Which actually probably means it's a good time to level up my characters. So, ooh, passive skills. Pack of dogs, attack power uh, 6%, uh, up 6% when their mates are nearby. So, probably mates are buddies, not, like, sexy mates. Either way, what does she have? Scamper, monsters don't slow down the hero, and uh, got your back. Extra defense when uh, grouped with others they trust. Oh, that's interesting. Also, kitchen gloves. Oh, who does the least amount of DPS here? Absolutely her. Drop some gloves on, gloves on that. So now, might as well level up Gork. That gives him Soylent Green. Oh, he he uh, gets food for killing monsters. That's kind of awesome. And might as well just level the Medic. She does not net her a passive skill, but either way, makes her tougher. And then we're probably going to want to go back to focusing on leveling our melee chick. Because everything else is dangerous. Anything in here? Nope, but we do have monsters. Oh, boy. Uh, I totally didn't have anybody selected. We need to get back here fast. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, God, that's a high-level monster, too. At least they're not going for my modules, which is nice. Oh, she is taking damage. That was a great time for a med kit. And you guys go here. Oh, boy, we need defenses. Maybe? I mean... We're not doing terribly. What we really need is better equipment. Because, as it stands, we're not doing so well on that front. We need more dust, too. 
but we do have science. So you know what? I'm going to get back here, do a little bit of research. Don't even need to have these two go anywhere. Let's get us a level two industry generator, which isn't built yet. Oh, interesting. Wait, I swear I just researched the industry generator. Did, didn't I just do that? Oh, three turns before it's done researching. Okay, well, that's fine. Because that means I'm going to be able to get more industry, which we so desperately need. That's cool. I, I like this. This is never truly what I expect, but it always turns out well. Or at least turns out interestingly. I I like this, the like slow macro system to this game. Can I open this? Yeah, I can. All right, what do we got in here? Unfortunately, I think we're going to get attacked by whole waves of enemies again. Yes? No? Yep. That's it. Let's take out these guys first. Oh, is there a, another group? Okay, so in that case, you guys need to get back over here. Stat. Stat. Oh, they're killing my shit. Kill the guys killing my shit. And Gork, stop standing around like a loaf. Medic's going to die. Medic's going to die. What are you... Oh, balls. Alright, uh, you... I'll, sp I'll send her here. Gotta protect... Oh, no, the science machine's gonna get busted. Is he going after the research machine? Oh, shit, he is. You get in there. Should be fine. Let's see how... Yeah, good time for a heal. Good time for a heal. Gonna cost me a lot of food for that. Prefer not to do that, but still, we need the firepower. Because they break that research machine, we ain't, uh, we ain't getting that industry bonus. Ugh. Do I have the dust? Yeah, there we go. Okay, no more concern from this side, which means less stress. I, I really wish this level looped back on itself, though, because it doesn't. And, oh shoot, the research machine doesn't recover health. And the science machine is broken. Oh, either way. All enemies are either going to spawn from these chambers or these chambers right now. And that's all that's all we need. Hello, what is this? It looks like uh, some kind of research bonus. Ah. You know, for having the uh, industry bonus, it really doesn't give us mu much of a boost. Either way, we get Rice Wind in our inventory, which I believe she can't use. He can. Big old gun. Wow, that really boosts his DPS. Now, if only he wasn't slow as shit. Either way. Could be worse. I think it's... Oh, hey. Merchant guy. Probably gonna want to build another science generator, though. Before I do too much. So, I, I guess I'll build another one. Oh, this is expensive. Because we want some resources. Oh, they broke both of them. Oh, why did they break both of them? This is, this is the problem when I'm not paying attention. So we could get... It, uh, oh, th this is dust. It's charging dust. Well. Uh, actually, I can afford it. So we don't need any of these, I think. What kind of weapon does she use? She uses guns. So she could actually use the six gun. Not bad. But I think I'm going to buy the guard uniform. Give that to her. And if we get any more dust, then I will. Because I don't think I'm going to need much more dust than this. But if I can get more dust, I'll get her the six gun. I do have to worry about the merchant. Merchants can and will be killed by enemies. Oh. Let's get over here quick. Oh, shit. She's taking damage. Do we get a med kit? Yeah, it's a good time for a med kit. And where? Oh, they're going for one of my industry generators. Get back here. Uh, I don't think there's much we're gonna, going to be able to do about that one. Either way, might as well build a prisoner pod. Oh god, she is almost dead. Note to self, get a food generator somewhere along the way and get everybody else down here. Go! Merchant is fine. She'll be fine. Okay, we're all good. I just... Nope! She completely forgot to take out the crystal guy. Okay. I think we'll be fine. I don't know if the crystal actually takes permanent damage either, which is admittedly nice. 
Let's power this room up. They did bust up our industry generator down there. Are there generator slots? Oh, there are. So it would actually be a smart bet to build one of these down here. Oh, wow, dad, actually, in industry generators are way better than I remember them being. Okay. So th this area is safe, so I can build at least one more thing before you leave. And that's fine. Don't see any doors in there, so we got this door and these doors. Might as well go the way that endangers the uh, merchant first. Why? I don't know. Oh, hey, it's the exit. Well... First and foremost, let's get back here. Now this is a submachine gun, which is a different class than... Yes, yeah, so she can't use that, but she can use the six gun, I think. That's yeah, worth a gamble. Yeah, perfect. All right, so the team is pretty much decked out. We need more people, but for now, it'll do. I don't think I have any more rooms to discover after this one. So... Let's just hope we have adequate resources. Oh, that's quite a lot of people. So in that case, what I'm going to quickly do... Build a couple of prisoner pods. Don't have to worry about the merchant anymore. So let's get the team out of here. Oh, God. He is taking heavy hits. Come on, Grok. He is dying really fast. God damn. Okay, that's a serious problem. Oh, please run. I don't have enough food. Oh, no. Well, he, di he died. Uh, she died. Uh. Uh. Well. That was a great run. 31 minutes. Got my ass kicked. 44 doors. 221 monsters. I can do better. But still, th that was really good, and that was about as far as I usually made it uh, back when it was like at its earliest alpha, so I'm going to have to uh, learn some things before I continue with this one. But overall, very fun, and uh, very difficult. I don't know, I'm looking forward to the next time I play, though I think I'll knock down the difficulty a little bit while I get used to the metagame strategies, because I don't know shit about this, even though I a lot of people uh, watch my v review like 5,000 something video views pretty nuts either way i think i'm on to the next game